If you are going through a hard time at the moment, if you're experiencing a transition of sorts, if you are experiencing one challenge after another, in this video, I want to give you a couple of perspectives that I'm hoping will help ease the pain of growing. As I talk about in a lot of my videos, growth is absolutely inevitable and therefore growing pains are also inevitable. However, if we accept what's happening with a more positive perspective on the situation, knowing that it's for our greater good, knowing that these challenges are here to teach us something, then we can hopefully navigate this period in a much more productive and positive way. My name is Gia Lulich, author of Joyful Journey, a guide back to the wild self. And this is my series where I share with you some spiritual tools on how to make the most out of this life and get on the path to reaching your true potential. So in this video, I want to present to you two different perspectives on why you are facing enormous challenges in your life right now. There is a third one, which will be the bonus at the end of this video. So stick around and watch how it all comes together. So let's get into it. The first reason why you might be going through enormous challenges in your life at the moment is because the desire you have called into your life does not have room to manifest. And so the universe needs to remove certain people, certain situations from your life in order for you to be able to embrace the desire that you are calling in. The way to tell that this is what's happening and to really accept that is if you are letting go of major relationships in your life. If you are finding that suddenly you're in a different wavelength to people who are close to you, to people who you previously invested a lot of energy and time in, if you're finding that those long-standing relationships are coming to an end, all of a sudden, pretty abruptly, within weeks or days even, that is a sure sign that the universe is trying to make room for something new to come in. And these are all kind of pillars that you've been relying on, that you've been depending on, that have up until this point been something that is, you know, really a certainty in your life, is now completely unraveling and seems to be coming to an abrupt end. The second sign is that there is a part of you that is completely at peace watching your life unravel in this way. And there is almost a kind of non-resistance about the whole situation where your personality is having a really hard time dealing with the changes. And yet there is something in you that is preventing resisting it. So there is a part of you that doesn't, has no more energy to fight it's kind of, you know, accepted this situation, even if it's really dramatic, even if it's really intense, even if it's really abrupt, there is a deeper part of you that knows that this situation is all part of the plan. And as you're going through this, you will experience peaks and valleys. So there will be times when you wake up and you feel completely peaceful, and fine about the situation and then there'll be other times when you are completely acting out and you don't know what's happening. The way to navigate this type of transition in your life where everything is unraveling is to really nourish your inner world. So it's to be in meditation a lot. It's to listen to your body and do the things that it wants you to do. Get in touch with that intuition, with your inner voice. Make meditation an everyday regular thing. It's also really useful to incorporate breath work as well because that helps you to bring up that stagnant emotion that is stuck within your being and that is making this transition more difficult. To use affirmations. I think it's best in this kind of emotionally loaded time in your life that the affirmations are very general so that it makes it easier for you to believe. If you just take a moment to say those and really feel into that and make it a practice to do that every day, 
then you will strengthen that intuitive part of you that knows that there is something really right about what's happening, even though it seems to, you know, feel like all hell is breaking loose. The second reason is that you're in denial about a situation or an area in your life, or ultimately what it comes back to is something within yourself. The way to know that you are in denial of something within yourself or refusing to own it is if you keep experiencing random accidents or unfavorable situations that seem to come out of nowhere and seem to kind of almost be like freak accidents. Unlikely occurrences that are completely out of context with the rest of your life keep happening to you to the extent that you'll be walking down a street and you know you have like a construction worker and they drop something on your head. Like that level of random and that level of unlikely. It's like as soon as you get up and recover from the previous accident where you know the person may have broken a bone or you know something happened to them as soon as they get up another wave comes and knocks them down again with something just as random and something equally as intense and disruptive to their life so if you've been experiencing those kind of freak occurrences one after another it is a sure sign that you are in denial about something in your life. You're not addressing a part of yourself. You're not owning up to uh, something within yourself and you're not therefore showing up in the world the way that your spirit craves for you to do. If you identify with this version of why your life is in shambles, then the best way to navigate this situation is to think about the last 10 interactions that you've had that have made you really angry or cry or that have just seen you uh, react in a way that's way, way extreme and outside of how you would normally react to an argument or conversation. So if we are overreacting to something someone says, if we find ourselves getting really, really fired up, take the time to reflect back on what those conversations were and what it was that that person said or what was the theme of that argument and what was the thing that really, really triggered us, then we can actually pinpoint the wound. Because the reason we're getting so fired up about this situation or conversation is because the person or situation is actually touching a wound that is unhealed and that has not been addressed. Through this process, we can actually identify what it is that we are resisting, what it is that we are in conflict with. Because remember, everything that is within us is reflected out. So if we are finding that we're having a lot of resistance to a certain subject or a certain theme that is actually reflective of an inward conflict that's happening within us a part of us that we've disowned that we've ignored that we've neglected or you know a fear or resistance so that one part of us wants something and another part of us fears the thing we want so there is a real contradiction pulling us apart quite literally I have found in my own experience that when I have extreme reactions to certain themes, I will notice that in the grand scheme of things, it shouldn't be a point of trigger, but it, it is for me. And I will actually sit down and try to pinpoint why it's a trigger. And then once I've come back, and a good way to do this is just, just keep asking why. Why am I feeling like this? Because it's really frustrating. Why is it really frustrating? And then if you keep asking the why, why, why and getting deeper, you will come to a very simple explanation as to why this is really, really annoying for you. For example, for me, a big trigger is not being seen. And this is something that often comes up. It was a recent argument that I had that made me realize that this was a real issue for me. I didn't feel seen and 
at the end of the day, the person who was not seeing myself completely was me, which is why this was being reflected out through other people and my interactions with them. And so I was able to kind of work through that in a very constructive way, but at the same time face those emotions. And weirdly, I made the shift in a very small amount of time where I can be having the same conversations and I'm not triggered in the same way. And so I felt like the shift happened for me really quickly and it was because I applied this process of let's see why this is annoying me. Sit with that and then the third step is to change the perspective on that situation. Come up with a more favorable perspective to help you to move through that situation. If you want to know more about how to pull a more positive perspective, there is a video I made on why toxic positivity is irrelevant and why we should ignore it because I think it's really important that we are able to extract benefit out of any situation no matter how dire and how you know devastating it is it is a real skill and a real art and a real um something really important to you know train yourself to do so that you can get through life a lot easier to be able to spin a new perspective on a situation that's created a real wound for you that's created um you know resistance and resentment within you so just to reiterate that because i feel like this was a bit rambly if you are recognizing that the challenges you are facing in your life at the moment are due to the fact that you're resisting an area of your life that you're in denial that you're not you know paying attention to what's actually going on then the first step is to reflect back on the last 10 conversations that you've had that made you really angry, that made you cry. Once we go through the whys and pinpoint what it is, then we sit with those emotions and we really just feel the discomfort that we've been feeling. Once we get through that emotional phase, and we will get through the emotional phase as long as we sit with it and don't talk about it and don't entertain it further and don't have all these conversations with people about it the emotion will subside on its own and we'll come to a place where we have the opportunity to rewire our belief about this situation how has this situation served me what can i take away from this how can i move on from this what kind of lesson can i extract what have i learned how has this made me stronger how has this made me more prepared once we put a new perspective on this situation we can then continue to practice new, this new perspective and the way we do that is each time we feel triggered if we do feel triggered because Often after doing this process, you no longer feel the trigger. You could have a conversation with someone about the same topic and it does nothing. You now are aware of what it is. Being aware of what is happening is key because once you're aware, then you can feel empowered to be able to better navigate and control the situation in a sense because you feel peace with it, you feel accepting of it and therefore you build that resilience where you know it's all going to be okay. So you go through it in a much more harmonious way rather than trying to fight what's going on. Thirdly, the bonus reason why your life is in shambles is that it is actually a combination of the two. And basically what I would argue is that often one is dominant, but it's mostly because both of these uh, both both of these situations are happening at the same time. So when you are when the universe is removing those pillars of comfort from your life, which is the case in the first scenario, and all these things that used to provide you comfort and stability and were like the sure thing or people in your life, you will feel a lot of stagnant emotion and resistance come up 
And so there will be those parts of you that you've denied that come up to the surface. There'll be a lot of triggers. There'll be a lot of emotional upheaval. And so you will experience what what is the case in scenario two in scenario one as well only to a lesser extent and vice versa if you are facing loads and loads of challenges because your life is trying to make you pay attention to you know uh, a denied part of yourself it is ultimately because your spirit is trying to get you over the line to get to the desire that you initially asked for so I hope that all made sense. It was a lot to get through, but I wanted to make this video because I feel like for me, the awareness of why things are shifting so quickly was really uh, instrumental in helping me to get through things. And I hope it will help you and give you a new and more positive and more light perspective on what's happening in your own life so that you can really internalize that perspective and find a way to make the best of this transition and find a way to extract all of what it's trying to teach you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to know your take on this information and your experience as well. If you want to see more of this content and there's a lot more to come, please do subscribe, comment, like so that the algorithm can really spread the word because this channel is really about giving people a sense of comfort, a sense of peace, and just a toolkit to make their life as beautiful as it possibly can be. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Ciao for now.